The play Mortido is about uh, the consumption of cocaine in this country and it's about where that cocaine comes from. I had um, had been talking a lot about you know the need to really tap into a kind of um, theatre that, that felt global, that felt a, a, that commented on globalization in as many possible ways as, as we could and um, and so you know it felt like cocaine would be the right kind of vehicle for that because it is you know uh, it does have a global appetite. <laughs> the, the germ of the idea for Mortito came when I was working on a play downstairs at Belvoir at the dark room and I read an article in the Sydney Morning Herald about the consumption of cocaine in the Emerald City in Sydney and I was really fascinated by uh, how much Australians are prepared to pay for their drugs uh, and also just the kind of the, the links to South, South America and to Central America and uh, the, particularly the, the, the narco wars that have been going on in, in Mexico over the last decade or so, which have been incredibly bloody, incredibly violent, and we occasionally get stories from that part of the world uh, about horrific uh, events that take place around the drug trade. But we're kind of oblivious to that in Sydney, you know, people consume their cocaine and they don't think about that reality. Mortito is a play that's very much about Sydney as a character and I think Sydney is a beautiful, very alluring uh, city. But it's also, it can be very narcissistic and shallow. And I think Sydney also has this, um, this beautiful facade, but there's an underneath, an underbelly. Um, which perhaps we're not aware of. It's just so pertinent about the um, this uh, narcissistic sort of city, this uh, contemporary narcissism and um, I suppose self-indulgent instant gratification type of environment we live in. And so spot on about Sydney. It was just like the... Because I just, I suppose, my only belief is that the best work you'll ever do is about your own place in your own backyard, I guess. I wrote the play when I first moved to Sydney and it was kind of a love-hate letter to this city. Uh, and so I was really interested in exploring lots of different locations in this, in this particular city. Wallara, The Cross, Cabramatta, Penrith, the immediate neighbourhood around Belvoir Theatre. So we really get a, a broad section of, of Sydney culture and Sydney life. I guess I want to make theatre that's about the here and now, that's about uh, work that has something important to say about who we are, where we live, uh, how we live, and uh, and I guess that's that's a political theatre, yeah, which is which is speaking to some of the injustices that exist in our society. Because the place is so big, it's a vast play. The theatricality of the place was beautiful, you know. Um, it's enormously theatrical. I'm making a, a sort of theatre that feels really visceral, that has writing at the forefront, um, that you know isn't isn't afraid to kind of call a spade a spade. And but to do that in this particular landscape and in this particular country, you've got to get pretty um, inventive. But you know the other thing that people don't know, or if they're not familiar with our work, is that Angela um, can write incredibly funny material and her she's she gets better and better and better at comedy so it's dark but it's hysterical yeah I always seem to kind of delve into the darkness um, I can't help it I'm personally attracted to, to, to dark places uh, but I like to think that the journey to those dark places is is uh, simultaneously entertaining and and also really funny as well good writing is always prophetic um, there's always a prophecy in there and I think she might have one, you know. <laughs>